propeller was originally designed to work with this engine, so it, the combination is nice that way. It's a small diameter propeller with a wide cord because you're trying to absorb so much horsepower in a small diameter. Originally, the propeller from the front of the crankshaft of the propellers is, two, is considered a two-inch hub. There were two or three airplanes that they played with that used a five-inch hub, and you gained three inches of putting the propeller further forward, an extra three inches. I had an aft CG problem, which I'll talk about later, but I ended up converting about two years ago to the uh, five-inch hub. In the process of doing that, I ended the front of my whole collie had to come out further, the extra three inches. Originally, the airplane was designed with just an, a kind of a triangular shape uh, area here for the air intake. I went to a Venturi system, which was developed by some guys for the RV program, and this is all modified with fiberglass. At the same time, one of the fallacies that they had in the original design is to go to pull the engine was going to be extremely complicated because this piece came all the way across the top. So I made a removable piece here, which a few other people have done, so that if you do have to pull the engine, you can lift the engine right out. The engine mount is, is a steel mount that mounts on the bottom of the engine oil pan, and it has a big crossover bar with two big dynamic shocks, rubber shocks that are squeezed down to the frame on both sides. And then there's one huge rod end on the back that you can adjust the attitude of the engine a little bit. But once it's set, you don't do, do any changes of the engine. But So basically, the engine is carried on three points. That same steel frame, that basket that holds the engine, is where all the uh, map is for the nose gear. And the nose gear is, and all the gear have been changed over, which I'll talk about in a later video.